Hey guys, it's Dr. Jimmy Richards. I'm at Charlie's Cafe. We're on the verge of opening in the next few weeks. And on this week's episode of the Coffee and Other Stuff show, we're back to coffee. We're talking about beans specifically. When you're looking at making a great cup of coffee, whether it be an espresso-based coffee or a drip or pour-over style coffee, the beans obviously are a very, very important part of that. And I can honestly say up until maybe a few years ago, I didn't realize just how important the right bean was or the combination of beans in producing an amazing cup of coffee. Now other things are important too. So you know you need your hopper which is next to me and the grinders and all the different components, the really great espresso machine. Not to say that you can't make great coffee at home with other you know lower tier type uh, implements but if you want to make the best it comes down to the machine, it comes down to the water, it comes down to the beans. So a couple of factors that we've taken into consideration and anybody who wants to make great coffee does, you know, is, uh, you know, the origin of the beans. And there's, you've heard lots of different uh, names for all of these, um, Robusta, you know, um, Arabica beans. So again, there's all kinds of them, but then within that, there's uh, locations and uh, regions that grow better coffee than others. There's coffee that's at higher altitudes, at lower altitudes. In terms of the best, at least uh, some of the lower altitude beans, there may be some plantations that are doing a pretty good job with those and they're coming along, but I think the standard is, you know, finding uh, beans that are grown in a high altitude. The higher the altitude, the, um, the more slow growing they're going to be, uh, the more slow growing they're going to be, then the more resistant they're going to be to the processing of the bean as it gets closer and closer to making its way to your mouth. And so we wanna at least minimize the degradation of those beans as time goes on. The second component is harvesting. So, you know, are you harvesting at the right time? Same thing, didn't know a lot of this stuff prior to a few years ago. And maybe you already know, and it's, it's why you love coffee, but when it comes to harvesting, uh, the coffee bean is like a cherry or it's inside what looks like a cherry. And so to harvest that at the right time to make sure that the bean isn't too green, to make sure it's not overripe, both of those factors would change the taste of the coffee that you produce. So again, finding a great plantation that's harvesting at the right time, making sure again that uh, they're fresh. And so by the time they get to you, that you're getting beans that have been roasted relatively recently Within about three weeks of the roasting process, the degradation of the bean really starts to accelerate. And to take, take it a step further, within about three minutes of actually grinding your bean, it starts to break down. So you can think of the process. A lot of times people go and, and yes, if you come to the, to the Charlie's and you wanna get some beans, we have our blends, our medium and dark roasts here. And we sell those in the, in the cafe. And if we grind them for you, that's great and it's still gonna make great coffee, but it's not gonna be the same if you take them and grind them at home because then you can grind them fresh every time you go ahead and want to make a cup of coffee. That's gonna be your best way to do it. So here at the cafe, we get our beans roasted locally in Mount Bridges at Ojo's Coffee with a couple blends that we put together and I'm looking here at our Charlie's Dark Roast. Ours is a blend of Sumatra, Guatemala and Peruvian beans and then our Medium roast is just the perfect blend of Mexican uh, Chiapas, Sumatra, and Guatemalan beans. So we've taken time to design these blends with Joe at Ojo's and come up with something that's gonna be perfect for us and the coffees that we wanna make here. We also have a decaf blend that is great and it's the best decaf I've personally ever tasted. And it's a Swiss water processed decaf. So again, you're not getting the chemically processed decaffeinated coffees. We get them, they're fresh. They never stay on the shelf more than two weeks uh, in terms of the ones that you could purchase here and the ones that we get are coming every single week. They're stored in an air sealed container. At the end of the day, the hopper gets emptied and it gets refreshed every single day. So those beans are fresh every single day. They're ground to order. So both with your espresso based drinks, we grind them to order. We don't grind uh, at the start of the day and have a bunch of ground coffee ready to go. We grind to order. And the same is true for the, what you would know as regular coffee or drip coffee. A lot of people, you know, go to other types of coffee shops and it's been sitting there for 30 minutes and then it gets refreshed and new coffee's made. We do pour over, it takes a couple extra minutes, but your coffee's getting made for you fresh every single time. So those beans, which have been stored at the end of the day, at the start of the day, they get put into the hopper, individual hoppers for each pour over 
blend that we have on for that day. And if you say, I wanna get a pour over, dark or medium roast, and you say, oh, dark, I'm gonna blend and grind 18 grams of coffee for you right on the spot. And I'm gonna mix that with 340 grams of water over a three minute period, and you're gonna get the perfect drip coffee made for you with our beans in that moment. And so those are the things that we've taken into consideration to create a great cup of coffee for you, to go above and beyond, and if you're making coffee at home, do the same thing. You may not have all the same implements, but the same principles apply. And so start to use those in your own home-based coffee brewing process. And I think you're gonna enjoy a much better cup of coffee. And of course, come into Charlie's and we'll make it for you. Make it a great day.